And now, here with an unlimited supply of misinformation... It's time for Music News. With your host, Darby. Yeah, Music News brought to you by the old Dutch store. If you love pastrami, try the Sharon Special Gourmet Sandwich or, or build your own sandwich at a side of German potato salad or fresh fruit at the old Dutch store. 2696 South Highland Drive or online at theolddutchstore.com. U2's The Joshua Tree has been voted the best album of the 80s by the readers of Rolling Stone magazine. Uh, the record was a U2's fifth album, blah, blah, blah. It edged out Guns N' Roses' Appetite for Destruction. Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. Other top ten uh, finalists included ACDC, The Clash, Metallica, The Cure, Michael Jackson, Prince, and The Smiths, strangely. Uh, on the number two album, Appetite for Destruction, they said the songs were gritty and menacing, and they portrayed a city as a violent urban jungle populated by pornographers and drug-addicted thugs. That's totally what I thought of it when it came out, too. A former GNR guitarist, Slash, told me a while back that part of the album's success was due to the fact that it filled a void in rock music at the time. We were the only band that was doing what it was that we were doing with the attitude that we had. People were starved for it because, I mean, other than us, there was Simple Minds and Motley Crue. I mean, you know... Cindy Lauper, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's what was going on then. So people were dying for like a real blood, sweat, and tears rock and roll band. If Appetite for Destruction came out today, it would still be amazing. If it came out right now, it would still be better than the record you're working on right now. I'm not saying the the, the album you're working on right now isn't amazing because I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna blow my my mind. My mind's already blown just thinking about it. But uh, that record came out right now, it would still be better than just about anything else out there. Pretty amazing. The uh, top ten was U2's The Joshua Tree. Appetite for Destruction at 2, Michael Jackson Thriller at 3, Springsteen Born in the USA at 4, Prince Purple Rain at number 5, ACDC Back in Black, The Smiths The Queen is Dead, which is the only weird one to me, The Clash, London Calling, The Cure, Disintegration, and Metallica Master of Puppets. That's a damn fine list, really. Most of those lists kind of suck. I think as those lists go, that list is pretty good. I do think The Smiths is... Kind of weirdish, though. That is music. By the way, I mentioned this on my Facebook that I was going to talk about this, and I mentioned that I was going to ma- mention something about Winger. And uh, Martine posted, "Kip Winger is a hairy son of a bitch." And I just want to say, if you're starting a band and you have and you're not going to name it, uh, Kip Winger is a hairy son of a bitch. You're missing out. You're missing out, and your fans are missing out. That should be the name of your band. K W I A H S O B. That's the name of your band for life. Darby. Ninety four nine. Z Rock.